Swords are overrated. Who needs swords when Geraldo has a crossbow? Today we're going to answer the question that has been asked since the dawn of time. Can you play The Witcher 3 with only a crossbow? Let's go. Let me know in the comments how your day is going. So, this build kind of came together because a lot of people were kind of jokingly, I guess, asking me about crossbows. And I thought, hey, let's just see if it works. And it kind of does, I guess. Like, exploding bolts are definitely a absolute joke in the amount of damage that they do when you buff your crossbow bolts, but also the fact that they just like knock everyone over in like a pretty big radius. So they're kind of, I don't know, a bit memey, I guess. But this is a weird thing, and I'm not sure how I feel about crossbows still in general, but it does seem like you can get some pretty, really good value out of crossbows. There's a lot of skills and different things that you can use to get value out of them. And something that I kind of came across when making this build was that when enemies charge at you and you, you know, you've got to reload your crossbow, which takes forever to do, you kind of need some sort of protection. So I did combine this build with the Yerdensign magic trap, so you can place that magic trap on the ground. One thing that it does do is destroy projectiles, which is actually really valuable for you know, the enemy's ranged attacks when they're shooting at you so you can avoid those arrows, but also it'll slow enemies when it actually does that little like zap, it'll hit them, it'll slow them and sort of stop them from coming towards you. So you have that time to prepare one of your crossbow bolts to actually hit them with the crossbow. So I found some good value in that rather than using like Quen as a protective sign, which you obviously still can use because Quen is pretty good. I was trying to figure out ways to increase the overall like attack power of the crossbow bolts. So we'll go through skills in a little bit, so we'll worry about that later. But I did notice that your attack attack power is directly related to the amount of damage you do with the crossbows themselves. So we're going with the four red mutations in our skills line to just overall increase our attack power. And so the further you can really buff your attack power and your damage overall, the more damage the crossbow bolts will actually do. I've never really seen them get above like, you know, like 1200 or something like that. No matter what I could do, I couldn't push that value higher than that. But it also seems like sometimes enemies will just randomly die like i don't know if there's a weird effect being triggered here or something but sometimes like you will just be shooting an enemy with a crossbow and he'll still have a bit of health left and he'll just go blur and just like die and i don't really understand why that happens but maybe the game just wants you to stop using crossbows i don't know but they do seem to die so can you play the witcher 3 with only a crossbow yes you definitely can it does seem to work exploding bolts will knock enemies down there are other bolts which we'll talk about a little bit later that are really valuable to use as well but for the most part you can but should you probably not it's it's a weird build. I don't know if it's like really fun. I still find that crossbows are very clunky in the way their animations work and actually getting the attacks off. And then when you got to reload, you just stand there like an imbecile trying to pull the crossbow bolt back while things attack you. That's not really smoothness to it, but it is like valuable enough, I guess. And it does work. So yes, you can play The Witcher 3 with only a crossbow. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our men. These are the skills that you should be using. In the combat line, I started with arrow deflection and fleet footed. Now you could definitely drop arrow deflection and just get like the first skill in the fast attack line because you don't really need it because we're using the Erden trap to avoid arrow deflection, but that was my original plan as to why I was using that skill. I'm using fleet footed so I don't take damage when I dodge, which is important. Lightning reflexes for the crossbow too, that time slows down when you aim that crossbow. Cold blood so that each crossbow bolt increases your adrenaline points and atomic knowledge so that the crossbow bolt's critical hit chance is increased by 60%. You basically basically always critical hit with the crossbow. I can barely remember a time when I didn't. So picking up the skill and maxing it out, you'll pretty much always critical hit. And crippling shot, so critical hits, which you always do, will disable monster special abilities for 30 seconds. This seems to be a little bit bugged. In some of the monsters that I've attacked, I've noticed that when this triggers, it just kind of stops the monsters from attacking. This could be because you're always at range using a crossbow and the AI doesn't really know what to do, but it also just could be because of this. I'm kind of unsure exactly why that is occurring, but it's probably because of crippling shot. Resolve I'm running so that I don't lose adrenaline points as well as undying. So you die, you basically don't die. Raise a focus to give me more adrenaline points as well as flood of anger. So we can dump all of those adrenaline points into the ability to cast any sign at its fully upgraded potential. So say if you have 
free adrenaline points and you cast this, your sign intensity will be higher and you'll get all of the sign upgrades. So it just gives you a little bit of flexibility so you can use some signs in this build if you want to, but for the most part, you probably won't. Speaking of that though, in the signs line, the only sign that I'm actually using is the magic trap, which we already talked about earlier, but it does add so much value for this build using that alternate cast for Yurden. In the alchemy line, I'm running two skills here, frenzy so that if someone is attacking you, time will slow down so you can dodge that attack automatically, just help you avoid some damage. But the main one here is synergy. So it increases the mutagens placed in your mutagen slots by 50%. So it basically doubles all of our attack power bonuses from the red mutations that we have in these slots. Really valuable to have for this build where we're just focusing on crossbow and attack power basically. And moving on to the general line, you want steady shot to increase your crossbow damage by 25% as well as trick shot. So you don't have to reload as much. You get one extra bolt. For the mutation, cat eyes is the option here. And this is kind of the only way that this build works. So crossbow damage is now increased from 201 to 1131, which is based on your attack power value. And your crossbow critical hit chance is increased by 50%. So that is basically why you will always crit because you get 60% from the skill, 50% from this. You're never really gonna not crit. And crossbow bolts will pierce and knock down enemies and stun them. And if they are at full health, they will also take more damage to their vitality. So that is basically all of the skills and how everything kind of fits together now. In terms of your armor and weapons, it doesn't really matter that much. Like you can kind of just run whatever. The main thing here is the crossbow. Like that is kind of the only thing that really matters. So for the crossbow itself, I am running the Geralt of Rivia crossbow, which you get from the Toussaint storyline. And it is the best crossbow in the game that I have personally found. It gives you 300% attack power plus the highest amount of damage. Until you get to Blood and Wine DLC, the Ursine crossbow is probably the best that you can get. It does do less damage, but it also gives you a fair amount of attack power plus some crit hit damage as well. So it's not a bad option and you can kind of craft that just by getting the Ursine set. So I'd probably be running that until that point. For the armor and weapons, it doesn't really matter as mentioned, but for the armor itself, I am wearing the Tisham Mutina set because I hadn't worn it in any of the builds that we've done. It also has really good defense resistances for all of your general types, but it also has an interesting skill. So killing opponents restores vitality. The amount of vitality is increased by how many pieces you are wearing. So it's a good way to get vitality back for something like this. And it's just a fun set to try something a little bit different in this build. Same reason why I made Geralt wear his favorite new haircut. Some tips for you crossbow junkies out there there are many different arrow types that you can use but there's probably only three that i would recommend personally to use at most of the times so you can just use the basic arrows they will do a decent amount of damage but they just don't have any extra effects but if you're trying to you know save arrows like the special ones for different fights just use normal ones the precision bolts are the best for monsters as they pierce armor monsters have high amounts of armor and they will do more damage than the others the broad head bolts will deal bleed but we don't really get a huge amount of damage from bleed in the game so it's not really super beneficial but just having that extra like tick on the target might be depending on the kind of build you're running and the main focus for arrows is the explosive bolts these are just great especially for groups of enemies and human enemies you can knock them all down at once and stagger them and keep them away from you really beneficial to use the main tip for really just using crossbows in general is to try and keep your distance as much as possible using something like the Yurden magic trap we talked about even Quen to avoid damage when you have to reload it really sucks like sometimes especially you got fast enemies like Neckers, it's really hard to reload and get that animation off while they're attacking you. You might actually just be better off taking that damage. Like if you do get hit during that animation, it does still trigger the actual reload. But if you roll, it doesn't trigger it from what I have found. So sometimes it's better to just take some of that damage. I mentioned a little earlier, you can craft arrows, but if you're looking to buy arrows, you can actually go to some vendors. Most vendors in the game will probably sell you arrows, but probably the easiest one is Atari in Novigrad. You can get access to him pretty early. And if you go here, he'll have like all of the arrows that we talked about in this video, the exploding bolt, the broadhead arrows and the precision arrows, plus some others as well. So you can go here to grab arrows or you can just craft them. Either option is good for you. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of wacky build that we just thought we'd do for a little bit of fun, something different to do. So thank you for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.